Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at the Esboni Night Vision Digital Camera. So uh, let's pop this open and see what you get inside and uh, see how it works. And we've got a little carrying bag, and this is the unit. A little cleaning cloth, USB C cable. Shoulder strap, instruction manual, and I know that inside here it actually comes with an SD card. It includes a 32 gig, but it will take up to a 256. We'll turn it like this, holding the power button. It's kind of counterintuitive. You think that this is the front, but it's not. This is the screen, and this is the front. So you hold it like this. The way that this thing works is this is actually an IR LED. It's basically a flashlight. So the camera can see infrared, whereas the human eye cannot. This thing's got a range of between 150 and 300 meters, depending upon how dark it is. And uh, I'll uh, take it outside here in a little bit, and I'll show you what it looks like. So specs. Uh, you've got, it'll do 36 megapixel still images. It'll do 4K video in video mode. We've got a 6 to 10 hour battery life, depending on how bright you have the IRs turned on. It includes a 32 gig SD card, but it'll take up to a 256. So... This is multifunction. This is both uh, IR intensity and also zoom. I learned that you can only zoom the thing when it's not recording. That's a little annoying, but yeah, that's what it is. Uh, and then on the zoom, it gets you know really jumpy uh, when you zoom in from a really far over distance away. So I would definitely recommend putting it on a little cheapy camera tripod. It makes it a whole lot easier to tolerate, a lot easier to use. You got focus right here, uh, which is really important when you're going in and out real far. Uh, oh, and you can see, see that purple? That's the IR. That's the IR flashlight. So you can see it on the camera. You can barely see the red glow with the human eye. It's 850 nanometers. So your eye can just barely detect it, but obviously a camera can see it. So uh, I'm going to show you some video that I've taken and uh, some real-world video that came directly off this and uh, let you see what you think. So I'm going to do a little voiceover here. This is actual video from my backyard, and the back fence is about 60 feet away. And that object you see is Prepper Cat maybe hanging out in the backyard. It's about 11 o'clock at night. And this is me cycling through the IR settings. So you can see it getting brighter, then dimmer, and then off. So it's almost pitch black outside. And so she's pretty well illuminated from 60 feet away in total darkness. And this is me just uh, playing around with this from the beginning, trying to get the focus figured out. It, it's not as easy as you would think. So you can see the uh, video coming in and out of focus. I mean, just playing around with it. Again, uh, the back fence is about 60 feet out. So I'm turning that knob on the front of the camera, uh, just trying to get the focus right. So I'm here playing around with this again, and I've got it on a tripod now and you'll see me walk out. So that's me walking out to the fence. Again, this is about 10.30 at night, so it's pitch black outside, and walking all the way to the back of the fence, so it's 50, 60 feet out, looking around for any intruders. And so there's me, and you can clearly see I'm a human. My head's cut off because I was doing this by myself, but uh, video quality is pretty good, and like I said, it's totally dark, and you can uh, completely see me. So this is a walking trail out by our house, and the end of that fence line over to the left is 300 yards away. You can see how the color looks. Uh, it's me flipping around with some of the settings. 
Uh, color is uh, pretty good, and uh, like I said it records in 4K, so the video re resolution is quite large, uh, quite big, um, and looks pretty good. Uh, there's lots of skipping around on here because the tripod that I was using was a, a little on the tight side, so uh, sorry if you're getting seasick here, but uh, uh, I have some night vision shot, so you can see there's a little sidewalk right there along that fence line, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like at night, so this will give you some context of what it looks like during the day. Uh, a, a tripod makes things a whole lot easier, but if they're too tight, it certainly does skip around, so uh, sorry for getting you seasick there. So here's that walking trail, and this was about uh, 10 o'clock last night, 10.30 or so, and this is me walking along that sidewalk. I go about 200 yards away, uh, and again, I'm, I'm doing this by, by myself, so you know it would be easier if I had another person that was kind of aiming. Uh, it's a little out of focus. Um, I do have a flashlight in my hand, but that flashlight's like the size of a AAA battery, so it's not throwing out a whole lot of light. Um, and I turn it off here in a minute, but you can see, you know, this, this is totally dark out there and I'm at 150, 200 yards, you know, if the camera would have been aimed upwards slightly, uh, and zoomed in, I feel pretty confident that you'd have a, a real good shot at me here at the end. So I'm a, almost there. I'll hit the end and stop and turn around. So, uh, not too shabby for $60 for, uh, you know, wildlife watching and, uh, you know, maybe some night hunting. So there I am turned around, you know, that's 200 yards out. And, uh, you know, if, if the thing would have been better aimed at me and zoomed in, uh, I, I feel pretty good about, uh, what the results would have been like. So really, really not bad. All things considered. <clears throat> we'll do a little shot of this white truck. It's probably 300 yards from the current position. And now let's check the zoom. Again, sorry for the shakiness. It's hard to do. But that's uh, an 8x digital zoom right there. So that's that same truck. So 300 some odd yards out. That's not bad. So final thoughts on this thing. You know, it's really not bad. It's, you know, 60 bucks. So uh, put your uh, expectations kind of uh, in that range. But, you know, I got really good video quality and uh, the IR did certainly work to 150, 200 yards out. I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you have a tripod, though. It's really hard to keep that thing still when you're zoomed out. Uh, but uh, it's a neat toy. I don't know if I would call it a... Uh, you know, true night vision. It's not thermal. It's, you know, it just has an IR flashlight on it. But if you're into, uh, you know, wilderness uh, sorts of things and uh, animal watching and hunting and things like that, and certainly if you're looking for an ultra low cost security device, um, you know, not bad, uh, not bad. So check out the link below uh, for the S-Bonnie uh, night vision camera. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one.